was the last time you made a wish? And I mean really made a wish. When we're young, we make wishes all the time. But as we get older, we start to actually doubt our wishes. Tonight, we want to have you uh, open your mind and put aside any skepticism you may or may not have towards wishes. And maybe take the first steps into maybe believing that one of your wishes could really come true. That's right. Before the show, I handed out some cards and some pencils and asked you to write down some wishes. Fold that so just your name is on the outside. And I will come and collect those from you now. Hold them high up into the air. Like it just don't care. That's right. Let's go. get going. We have, yep, we have some you got some right here. That is one. That is two. Let's keep going. Some right over here, right over here. Perfect last minute details. I like it. Fabulous. Right here. Right here. Right here. Any others? We got it. I Bueller. think we got it. Bueller. Great. Fantastic. Fabulous. Oh, and I need to know who's the most skeptical person in the room? Where are you? Raise your hand if you think you're the most skeptical person in the room. Alright. We're going to use you for this anyway. Right here we just pull a card out. Fold that up. Fold it up even smaller. Don't look at it. Just fold it up even smaller. Okay? You're going to hold on to this until the end of this session. Okay? Keep it completely secret. You are the test for all the people who doubt wishes can come true. Right. I am, not many people know this, but I am a handwriting analysis expert. It's one of my favorite things to do. So by looking at your names, I can tell what kind of wisher you are. So that's all. That's right. And I'm going to be using playing cards, a distant relative of the tarot, to peer into the future and see what you might be able to do to make your wishes come true. With that said, Arya, are you ready? I was born ready. All right, let's jump right in. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh -huh. Michelle, where is Michelle? Yeah, that's you. Stand up, but stay in your seat. Wonderful. That was exactly what I meant. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So Michelle, uh, looking at your name, this is really fun. Uh, you definitely seem to be somebody who is not easily distracted. You like to stay on course. You know what you want, and you like to go for it. Uh, that's what I'm seeing for you. Fantastic. Yes. Your wish should be easy to peer into. I'm going to dribble the cards from hand to hand like so. This will be the same for everybody. At any point you say stop, and I will stop there, and that will be the card with your fortune. Are you ready? Stop. Right there. Great. Wonderful. Let's take a look. The Six of Hearts. Interesting. This is about friendship, but not just friendship. This is about friendship from the past. This is about memories. This is about nostalgia. And what I see, you know, on the surface, this might not make sense, but I'm seeing a picture of you with friends partying and having a great time. And I think that this, there's like some kind of visceral something that's memory for you, and that's what your wish is about a little bit. By the way, this is just off of the bat. Um, I feel like, are you like born at the beginning of the year, like an Aquarius or Capricorn? Okay, so we're looking at January. Like eighth? Ninth. Ninth, okay. Uh, you know where that eight came from. You're actually born in, can I say? Yeah. 89. Yeah. Yes, perfect. <laughs> I usually don't do that. <laughs> okay, what I'm sensing is that your wish is something like, I want to be able to have a party every night or something <laughs> like that. Is it, um, I wish for a free beer every night? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Yes. Yes. I see that this is really. As long as you're with dear friends that you have memories with, they'll be buying your drinks. So give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Alright, All right. let's put it right on. Oh wait, I'm already picking up something here. I'm picking up numbers right off the bat. I'm picking up 11. I'm picking up 7. I'm picking up 19. I'm picking up 9. I'm picking up 5. There's more. Uh, I'm picking up 22. That's what I'm seeing. Does that make sense? Uh, what is the wish? <laughs> I wish I knew the lottery numbers. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Uh, I hope you wrote that down because I don't remember what I said. Uh, I wish you luck remembering that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, by the way, I must have put that in my pocket. Oh, here it is. At the end of the show, come and collect your half so that you can have something as a little bit of a souvenir. They're gonna be right here. I'll keep these 
Fantastic. Uh, let's move right along. Okay. I think it is. Uh, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Bryan. Kevin right hey. back. Just stand up and stay right where you are. Okay. So Kevin. Kevin. I like what you the way you write your name. Um, it kind of shows that maybe you're more of a you're you're a good listener. You're somebody that your friends like really go to for advice because you're just a you're more of a listener than you are a talker. Um, yeah, that's what I see for you. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what your wish holds in store. All right, you say stop. Stop. Right there. Seven of Hearts, also known as the Seven of Cups. There's a little bit of confusion. You're looking in all directions. You're wondering which way to go. Um, you know, it's almost like there's too much and not enough because there's nothing solid that you can hold on to, but there's so much you can see. Would I be correct in saying that this is something about, I don't know, it's, like a, it's a hard to find a word for, like desire or um, fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think the first step you have to take here is to realize that you are already wealthy. You're living in one of the nicest parts of the world. You have a roof over your head, I'm imagining. You are here at this beautiful theater enjoying entertainment that most people will never get to enjoy. And there's cars and there's air conditioning. You are a wealthy, wealthy man. And I think that your question is something like, when will I live without want? Your wish is like something about that, yes? Okay, what I sense is that it's all about your perception. The more you wealth you see, the more wealth will come to you. Does that make sense? One, give me a round of applause. Let's take a look at our handwriting. That's fantastic. Let's go, huh? Wow, okay. That's a fantastic question. Give your half afterwards. You know what, Ari, don't pull out another one, though, because I'm sensing something. Um, yeah, it's not here. It's coming from here. No, I think this was unwritten, or I didn't collect it, or something. Uh, because I'm just picking up on something right off the bat. Some of you thinking about movies. If you're thinking about movies in your wish, raise your hand. Right there. Hey, stand up. <laughs> Go ahead and say stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> Five of Wands. This is relating to not the movies. This is relating to a wish that perhaps you didn't write down. This is relating to something about immigration. This is relating to <laughs> refugees, yes? Yeah. And you're wondering, what I'm seeing here with the Five of Wands is that there's all this fighting right now, and there's all this hubbub, and they're scattered, and nobody can focus. But one person at a time can start to aim everyone in the right direction. And what you're doing currently is the right thing, but you just have to wait for it to pay off. As far as the horror movies, I hope we have better ones too. Does that make sense? Give it up for him as he takes a seat. All right, I think that's all we have time for. Great. Oh, wait, 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 there's one more. Yes, Oh, you, you actually have another one in your hand. Okay, stand up, open it up. I want you to confirm everything that I'm about to say. No worries. <laughs> okay, do not say anything out about it out loud. First, look at the name. Okay. His name starts with an M. You are correct. Okay, whoever this is, it's like an M, G, or no, an M, C. Yes is the initials? Yes. Okay, if you, this is you, listen silently to what I have to say. Uh, first of all, I'm seeing a birthday on there. I'm sensing that this is another, like, it's actually November, yeah? Yes. Eighth. Kind of. Seventh? Yes. Okay, fantastic. I'm not going to get to here. Um, but what I'm sensing is that this, this wish... Say stop for me. Perfect. Ace of Swords. This is about the beginning of something. The beginning of clear vision and sharp mind. And I think that this is talking about not the person who wrote this, but actually the person that it's talking about. Would I be correct in saying that they are thinking about a young person? A young man. You could say that. Okay, would I be correct in saying this is a family member of this person? That is correct. A brother. Yes. Yes. Okay. They're wondering if they're going to see their brother soon. Yes. This is the start of them seeing clearly and actually being able to make the path to come back to you. So whoever that is that made that wish, I see great fortune coming your way. Give him and our anonymous wisher a big round of applause. Aria, is there anything else you'd like to do before we wrap it up? 
Um, well, I guess I'd just like to say that I think on behalf of me and Anthem, uh, we hope that all your wishes do come true. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Give yourselves a big round of applause.